and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Hello, and welcome to episode number 30 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is you are a result or product of your environment. Now, I'm sure like many of us, we've heard the saying, you know, you are who you surround yourself by. You are a product of your environment. You know, the five people that you spend the most time with are the five people that you're going to become. And I really have to emphasize how true this is. And I really have to make a podcast episode on it because I believe it is so, so important. Like when we look back to our clients that we trained in the gym and we looked back at their environment, you know, we have this overweight girl and she's looking at losing weight but her whole family eats out every night her friends and family eats takeaway what are the chances of her succeeding even though she's got the best diet even though she's got the best accountability with the coach even though she's going to the gym three to four times a week what are the best chances of her actually succeeding and getting to her goals and we look at this all the time like ever watch like a biggest loser show and you ever really wonder why you know they've got the biggest loser family And the whole family is overweight. The whole family, not just one person is overweight, but generally the whole family is. And that's the product of the environment because as soon as one person slacks off and makes it easy and faces a resistance, it creates this kind of excuse that if she's allowed to slack off, then I'm allowed to slack off. Or if she's chilling, if he or she is going out, then I should have some downtime. And what you'll notice isn't that, you know, you should cut yourself off from them. It's really just being able to understand all the patterns. It's able to understand resistance coming at you or people. People who are not necessarily bad people or people that want to hold you back, but people who aren't on the same vibrational frequency or the same level or the same wavelength as you. These aren't necessarily good or bad people. It just really depends on what you value in your life. And if you're listening to this podcast show, well, your value is growth. You want to you want to have more fun. You want more freedom. You want to impact more people. But ultimately, you want to have control and destiny of your own life. And the way I look at this is most people are living a nine to five job they're in the trenches and and they can't wait for Friday Saturday and then they kind of hate on Sunday because they're feeling bad the whole day because Monday's the next day and you know a a guy that you know you've probably heard of Gary Vaynerchuk he's a guy that I super super admire for what he does he really has his goal and vision set in and he will hustle to make it there and a big thing that has really resonated with me over time is surrounding yourself with the right people because if you don't surround yourself with the right people it's easy to fall back into your comfort zone it's easy to lose that hunger it's easy to lose fire because one of the biggest key success principles and really this really stems down to the amount of people I've had to talk to inside my mastermind groups hanging around with Tony Robbins platinum group and the people that I've been able to meet who run multiple million and eight nine figure businesses is that they have this thing for hunger and growth Okay, it's really being hungry all the time. It's not settling for less. It's not stopping when they achieve something. It's like, okay, I've achieved something. I'm going to celebrate that I achieved it. But then what's next? What's that next thing that I'm going to go after? Okay, and a lot of the times why I'm doing Tony Robbins is to be able to find that fulfillment and joy in the success of money, in the success of growth. Because a lot of the times, especially when you play this game and, and you know, you're hustling to make more sales, you get caught up and you lose the reason as to why you started your business in the first place you lose that fun you lose that excitement you know why did you set foot and start your own business in the first place when when you go a year or two down the track and you're constantly you know making sales you've got your lead generation under control things can blur out and things can just start looking like numbers you know you treat people as numbers and so you lose that fulfillment and a big thing that I wanted to do and invest in myself was that I understood that I was getting caught up that you know, I was getting caught up in things that really didn't matter because as they mattered, I wasn't really finding the fulfillment in my business anymore. I wasn't really finding the fulfillment of what life meant because at the end of the day, we're doing all this, you know, we're making money, we're growing, but we're doing it for a particular reason. And that reason, whether it's, you know, you want to build legacy, whether you want to impact people, whether you just want to look after yourself and grow and do and live life on your own terms, like you want to just wake up and not have to show up to a particular area, not, you know, you don't have to really respond to anybody. You don't have to have that constraint on you to show up every single day. And that's called freedom. And that's what I'm really enjoying at the moment. And so what I'm telling you is hanging around bigger people who are 
thinking on a different wavelength is going to cause you to think on a different wavelength. It's going to cause you to think that, okay, it's going to open up your mind, firstly, okay, because if you hang out with people who are doing, if you hung out with people who are doing million dollar a year in revenue and profit, and you see how they work, you see how they operate, you see how they think, that's going to rub off on you naturally, right? But if you hang around with people who are, you know, on the dole, who are getting food stamps, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but this is all perspective, you're going to start thinking about, look, how can you save a bit more money? How can you go in and stop the government from taking more of your taxes? How can you go in and get these coupons to Hungry Jacks, right? But it's just the wavelength of what you're thinking about. So, You become a product of your environment and if you want to grow very quickly, this is really the big step. You really have to hang out with people who are above you. There's always going to be your friends and your family who, you know, aren't as successful as you and that's okay. But what I'm trying to say in this podcast episode is you have to be aware of this because a lot of the times, you know, if you hang out with people who are dragging you down, they don't mean to drag you down. They really don't. But by you hanging out with them and by you seeing how they operate, you then allow yourself and excuse yourself to do the real big hard work that you are meant to be doing and you go out clubbing or you go out for a drink or you go out. And that's not to say that you shouldn't, but really, you know, what I'm trying to tell you is that you have 24 hours a day and each and every second of them absolutely counts to achieving whatever your goal is, okay? And if you've achieved the goal and you're happy with where you are, by all means, keep doing what you're doing. I'm, I'm super happy for you and I, I super respect that. But if you want more, if you're looking to grow, then you need to raise your standards, okay? And a lot of the times, you know, I've been telling my clients and I've been telling some of my friends this is that, you know, when you make that income, it's all about saving money. You know, never ever have I ever spoken to anybody that's been able to just save $100,000 because we generally say, look, when I save up, I'll invest. When we save up, we're going to invest. And, and the truth is, As you grow, you need to solidify that. You need to solidify your growth. And what I mean by this is every step that you take up, you need to make sure that that is your next level. That is that is the baseline. That is the expectation that you're going to live every single day. And here's the thing, like a lot of us tell ourselves that we're going to wait until we have a million dollars in the bank account until we get that nice house. Whereas, you know, if if you made 50, 20, 20 to 30 sales and you've pulled in 20 to 30,000, there is no reason why you can't go out there, get a mortgage and actually put down your down payment for your house. And then that's the next expectation. And that's that's where your expectations rise because now you're suddenly, you've suddenly increased the baseline from renting to actually owning. And now you've got a bit of a firecracker on your ass to get to work because that's your new expectations. But I think that's for another time. And And what I found is that a lot of the times the things that I've wanted haven't come the way that I've wanted them to come. And what I mean by that is right at this very moment in time, I'm living a really fantastic life. I've got a great house. I've got a great car. I've got great studios. I've got great businesses. But they haven't come. They haven't come the way I expected them to come. And how I expected them to come was, you know, getting this $100,000 BMW, I expected that I was going to make you know, a hundred thousand dollars to pay for it. And the way it came about was that I needed a way to offset my tax. So I was like, the best way is to finance the car out. And so I raised that level and I just said, look, I deserve this car and this is the new standards. And so you finance the car and you just find a way and it becomes your new normal, okay? The house, the same thing. You know, I wasn't gonna put down $250,000 for a 10% deposit in order to get the house, but you know, I just did that and then now it becomes a new standard. And it wasn't the way I expected it to go out. You know, I expected to have this nice million dollar house and I thought, wow, I have to become a millionaire first to get the house. And generally that never happens. And for the people that I study and for the people that I talk to and and for everyone who's grown and living that really good lifestyle, they've actually stepped up into that And what I'm trying to say is that you don't need a million dollars to live the great life, okay? You just need to raise your standards. So with every success that you make, with every sale, you have to do something to raise your standards because at the same time, everyone's got this kind of thermometer, this baseline that we're all going to fall into. And we hear this time and time again, people who win the lottery, they win the lottery and they go broke again after a year because they didn't raise their standards. They didn't raise their level of thinking. They didn't raise their level of being able to create. They kept that the same, but their expenses grew so now they weren't able to grow with that okay but really I think I wanted to make this podcast because I know it's so important on your environment 
And the biggest impact was finding the right people to hang out with, finding, finding people who are on the same wavelength, who can inspire you. But most importantly, you know, you can't just go out there and say, look, hey, Tony Robbins, Richard Branson, I'm going to hang out with you. The first stepping stone and biggest realization I made was starting to be the person you wanted to attract. Okay. So a lot of the times when I was saying, look, but you know, you have to be the person that Tony Robbins wants to hang out with. You have to be the person that Richard Branson wants to hang out with. And the person they want to hang out with is a hungry person who's driven for success, who wants to impact more people. And when you start becoming that person, you're going to do amazing things. And that's when you'll start to attract it. Okay. Because a lot of the time people don't understand that it's easy for me to say, hey, go change your environment. And then the next question and the next thing that stops them is, wait, how do I, how do I actually start hanging out with these people? Well, the first thing is you need to change your you need to go in and say right who do I need to be if I'm going to attract this person you know a year ago I wasn't attracting the same people I'm attracting today because I wasn't doing amazing things I wasn't sharing my knowledge I wasn't being the person that I would hang out with a year ago and I really hope that makes sense so the best piece of advice I can give to you is number one change your environment but in order to change your environment, you have to step up and start being this new person that you would actually want to hang out with, okay? So I really hope that helps. And like I said, this podcast generally opens another can of worms in terms of, you know, leveling up every single time. And, and it's something that I've learned that the way you get things isn't really the way you envisioned you'll get it, okay? And I'll save that for another podcast episode because if you have a look in your life at this very moment in time, whether it's your partner, whether it's your business, whether it's your clients, the way you thought about making $100,000 or $50,000 wasn't the way you envisioned. It happened because you just took that next step, okay? So what I'm trying to say is if you want to make or live that million-dollar lifestyle, six-figure lifestyle, you have to take that next step and increase your standards. Whatever money that you make you need to go okay well I'm gonna raise my standards I'm going to commit all right to raising my standards I'm going to not save up I'm gonna invest in myself first and foremost because you know that you are your greatest asset because if you can think more strategically if you can think uh, and overcome that mindset issue you'll be able to create more you'll be able to attract more clients more customers but also you need to raise your living standards around you you know you need to go out there and you need to go okay well I'm gonna rent a better house I'm going to rent you know if go from a $300 per week home to a $500 per week home and that is my new standard and now it becomes a must for you right and then suddenly you know if you keep raising your standards you've got a $700 house and you know not before long you're owning your own house and that's really how it plays out it never ever plays out as though you know you're going to wait 20 years and then you're going to save up a million dollars and then you buy your dream house because that's not how it rolls because if you're waiting for that it's probably never ever going to come okay so my message here is the number one change your environment number two be that person that you want to attract right rather than being and playing that victim mentality of saying well how can I hang out with better people People. no one's gonna hang out with me start being the person that people are gonna to want to hang out with right it's as simple as that start changing start spreading your message start getting out there start taking bigger actions start taking bigger risks okay and the last thing is to level up every single time you make a win you have to reinvest that back in yourself or you do something to upgrade your standards you upgrade your level of living you upgrade your car you upgrade your house you upgrade your environment okay and that's how you're going to achieve I suppose freedom and get more out of life and it really only comes back to what I can share through my own experiences so I really hope you enjoyed this and you got something away from it and if you did please feel free to once again send it to a person a colleague a friend another personal trainer a coach who you know this could help because working together and growing together is how you're going to keep yourself accountable and this way you can both raise your standards and this way you can both achieve that level of success because the biggest things that I'm noticing is that we don't lack information we lack focus and we lack implementation so if you can go and share this podcast send it to somebody right now who you can share it with who's going to listen and who you can talk about this stuff with you'll be able to raise your environment and raise your standards and change your environment almost instantly I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next podcast episode 
All right. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review in that way. I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening. 